What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. Now, we may not be the best, and every play won't be perfect, but I guarantee you we'll have a good time. Smash that like button for us if you're hyped, and I hope you enjoy. What's good, YouTube? That one on YouTube, you're back again once again. And today, people, today I am your coach of the Tucson's Rakions. Not wearing the shirt, it's being washed right now, actually. In the United Championship League, the UCL. And we are here for our Week 12 battle against JYT Gamer, coach of the Carolina Keldeos. So if you guys are hyped for today's battle, this week's battle, and of course, if you're a private of that, that'd be nation that you're supporting the Tucson's Rakions. Make sure you smash the like button down below for us as well. And of course, make sure you check out our live team building that went up with Mega Mogwai yesterday. Yesterday. <sighs> I've been having a really bad day today, you guys. So we're gonna choose our music 23 and just go with it. <laughs> and just go with it and hope for the absolute best. So let's see, did Jay bring Manectric or Needle King? Did he bring either one of them? He brought the Needle King. Okay, so we have Cray Dilly. We have Dusclops. Uh Needle King. Gramble. Heatran and Azel. So we have no Mega Scizor. So we intentionally didn't bring Mega Gardevoir because we were worried about Heatran and Mega Scizor. And I want you to know earlier today, because like we did the team prep yesterday, like even as I'm recording this, we recorded it yesterday. You guys saw it. Yes. Anyways, we didn't really account for Dust Clouds, but it looks like he planned more so for Dragonite than Gardevoir because he has the Gramble and the Dust Clouds, but. It is what it is, either way. But still, uh, on our squad, we have Joey Galaxy, the Thunderous, Rick Toffin, the... What is this thing called? Drapion, 30 minutes, our Rotom Heat, Britannia, our Empoleon, Nutcracker, our Chestnut, and Pearl, our Dragonite. I think... I don't know who the fuck he's going to lead with. It's either going to be Azelf or Nidoking, I'm going to guess. I mean, maybe he'll lead with... Uh... What's his face there to set up rocks? Heatran? I don't know. I'm just going to leave with Arrotom. That's what we discussed. That's what we spoke about. And there's no Suicune. We were so confident he was going to bring Suicune. So now the question is, who are we going to set up a nasty plot on? I'm not too sure of what to do. Maybe the Dusclops, perhaps? Perhaps? Per higgity haps? Dusclops could carry Ice Punch. But we're going to see what ends up happening. Let me jot down his team over here. Let me jot down his team over here. I'll be willing to bet you money. You could pause the video right now and go look at Jay's video, and he predicted our lead. How much you want to bet he predicted our lead? Let's see here. As I'm jotting these mons down. Okay, so a powerful Dusclops lead. So what can Dusclops even fucking do? I don't know what. Like I know what he like normally does. Oh my leftovers! Oh, you cheeky dick with your frisk. Um, alright, so let me, let me, let me, let me, let me do what I do. I think I'm going to click Thunder Wave. If he goes out to Nino King right now, I'm going to be shiggity shocked. Now, I know that this Dusclops nigga right here gets knockoff. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he gets knockoff. Not that it really matters. Like, Leftovers is cool and all, but... I prefer if they weren't knocked off. So I'm gonna double check real quick just to be sure, but I'm pretty sure he gets knocked off. Does he get knocked off? <laughs> Guess what? He doesn't get knocked off. Okay. I don't know why that was in my head. Don't know why that was in my head. Uh, so let me. Let me see what we got here. What do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? He can't Will O Wisp us. He can't Will O Wisp us. Uh, is he gonna curse? It works differently for ghost types though, doesn't it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check and see what he has here. He can't really do anything to us. I'm gonna click Thunder Wave. If he hard swaps to Needle King predicting it, then fuck us. But I'm gonna Thunder Wave. Oh, I didn't even notice his nickname is King. I wonder what his nicknames spell out this week. <laughs> Dust Cops isn't a terrible lead because it's like, you could uh, tank any hit from us. But I have no clue what the fuck he's gonna go for. Mm, 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 mm. Nightshade. Okay. Alright, that's fine with me. That's fine with me, bruh. Because at least I got the paralysis off on him. Does he have anyone to clear? Did Gramble get Heal Bell? I think Gramble gets Heal Bell. Let's see here. Pretty sure he gets... Yeah, he gets Heal Bell. Why does Gramble get Heal Bell? It makes no fucking sense. 
Um, alright, so I kind of want to Volt Switch out. But what if he predicts it? Haha. -ha. I'm still going to click it anyways. I'm still going to click it anyways. Because what he's going to do, he's going to nightshade me again. That does nothing. Nothing! You know what I actually think we could do right now? Uh, Scarf Needle King would be a problem. I feel like he is definitely Scarf Needle King. But what I was going to say, oh no, I could just go out to Richtofen and knock off. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. I can go out to Richtofen and knock off. I was going to say, I could go out to Thunderous and I can eat up Nightshades and set up, but I don't want to do that just yet. So, knowing the knockoff is coming, he has no Mega, so he has to go out to someone to take the hit. Question is, do we knock off or do we pursuit? Do we knock off or do we pursuit? Let's take a gander here. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Well, if we knock off, we're knocking off this. Uh, honestly, knock off in pursuit, whether he swaps out or not. Like, if he swaps out, pursuit does about the same that knock off would. So, to be honest, knock off, I think, is what I'm going to go for. Because even if he swaps out, it works for his other teammates, too. So, we'll see. And plus, we don't reveal pursuit too early. It might come in handy a little later on, you know? You know what I mean? I feel like he's going to swap out, though. I feel like he's gonna swap because it's just it's just not in a good position to stay in because he could risk paralysis he could I don't know a whole host of things could happen but we will see we will see let me jot down paralyzed because he doesn't have a mega so whoever he goes out to is gonna take a knockoff I feel like he's gonna go out to Gramble to get the intimidate drop and then oh never mind he stayed in fuck it fuck your Eevee light bitch and he burns me. Ooh. Why can't you get paralyzed? I don't understand that. I, I, I inflict hacks on the other team and it never happens. People inflict hacks on me and it always happens. Well, this Riptoffin isn't doing the same damage that we need him to do anymore, which is fine because honestly, he was made to just click knockoff. Earthquake, we don't need. I mean, Earthquake would be nice against Nido King, to be honest. And the Heatran. Shit. I forgot about the Heatran. Oh well. He can literally just Nightshade and let the Willowers do the rest of the damage. Oh, that's aggravating. We're doing jack shit for damage now that we're burned. Yeah! Um. Alright. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh my god, why didn't I think of this? Uh, he gets Pain Split as well. I wouldn't be surprised if he's carrying Pain Split. So that's the only thing that's keeping me from swapping out right now. It's the notion of him clicking Pain Split. I'm gonna click Pursuit. Fuck it. Oh shit! Ha 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 Bitch nigga! Ha 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 Bitch nigga! Question is, does this give him a chance to set up with anybody? Mmm. Look at the names. King Nappy. Intimidate. Okay. So do we see a heal bell on the way? I kind of want to knock off just to knock off his item. That's it. Like, just dropping on being burned really it means he's not going to do much of shit anymore. And I don't want him to take any more damage than he needs to. So I'm just gonna click knock off. Fuck it, knock his item off. For what it's worth. Cause I don't want anyone to swap in on damage. Oh he's got Rocky on it. Well it's gone now. Haha. -ha. Play rough. And Jay lands the play rough as well. You son of a bitch. Alright, so that was one integral team member that's gone now. It really kinda sucks. You know what I mean? Not what I mean? Not what I mean? Uh, okay, so, question now is, what the fuck do we do against the Gramble? Because he could carry Rock Slide and fuck up our Rotom, and it's not like I can do anything to the Gramble. So, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. 
let's see here. Let's see here. What do we do to you, buddy? Uh, no, no, no. I wouldn't put it past him to carry rock slide. And that's killing. It's killing. It's killing. Um, only thing I can say to do is to. Go out to Britannia and let him earthquake us. He can close combat us as well. I mean, 30 minutes is our really only option at this point because no one else is taking a hit successfully. We can't send out Joey Galaxy to set up just yet. I mean, he has to miss with a rock slide. I'm gonna click Thunder Wave. That's the only thing I can do. I have to Thunder Wave and then Bolt Switch out. Because it's like. Alright, what am I supposed to do? I can't click overheat right now because he has a heat transiting right there. If I thunder wave and he goes like dust clops, then I can bull switch out turn after that. So, I, I don't know what the fuck to do. So, I mean, it's up to him. Either he goes out to the Needle King and takes the hit, and that puts me in the position where it's like, what do I do? Or he goes out to Dusclops, which then I can Volt Switch out. Because if he goes to Needle King, I'm not going to appreciate a Sludge Wave, for sure. Jay's got to be contemplating the fucking Thunder Wave. He can't even be thinking about Overeat at this point. He has a Heat Train. So it's either Needle King or Dusclops. The Great. Alright, that's superb. He predicted the overheat. Okay, so he's got to carry ancient power or some shit like that. Uh, we have HP ice on this road on the HP ground, so we need to promptly volt switch Tay fuck up out. Uh, only problem is, who do we go out to? That's the question. Britannia, maybe. I feel like he's gonna go for like stealth rocks. Yeah, he's gonna go for stealth rocks. We have no way to get rid of it either. Because obviously I'm gonna volt switch out. So I feel like he's gonna go for stealth rocks. And he didn't bring anyone that's off the ground. Oh wait, does Azov get levitate? I'm gonna volt switch to Joey Galaxy. I don't know what to fucking do here because if he sets up stealth rocks. That's fine. If he goes for Ancient Power, then we're in trouble. That's the only issue. If he goes for Ancient Power, then we're in trouble. Because I can go out to Dragonite or Thunderous at this point. I mean, we have Defog. Never mind. We have Defog. I think the safest play is to go out to Britannia. The safest play is to go out to Britannia. So I'm going to say, I can go out to... Uh, Pearl or Joey Galaxy, but if he goes for a offensive rock type move, I just need to defog these rocks away though, that's the thing. And he has more than one mon that sets up rocks. Problems, problems. Because I can't click Earthquake because he has an Azel. If I go to Dragonite, that's way too obvious. It's way too obvious that I'm going to click Earthquake. So he'll just go out to the Azel, and then I'm banded into fucking Earthquake. I literally have to predict and click extreme speed but if he stays in for whatever reason I can't click skull because then I'll go out to the crate dilly huh but if he does that then I can fuck it I'm stop with the stop with the hundred thousand different situation what about the Britannia is the safest thing he wants to go for stealth rocks I can defog it next time because he's not gonna stay I mean he could stay in if he really wanted to I'm just gonna click defog though I'm gonna click defog, so if he swaps, rocks are gone. If he stays in, rocks are gone. But I feel like he's gonna swap to Cray Dilly, predicting me to click Scald. He could very well set up rocks again with Cray Dilly, though. But could you imagine if I would have gone out to Thunderous, got him out before the rocks went up? I could have clicked Nasty Plot this turn, ate any one hit from him, and proceeded to sweep. Unless the Needle King is Scarfed. Or the Azel is Scarfed. But, again, Jay broke through paralysis. I'm going to call it out every time it happens. <laughs> I want y'all to know, I'm going to call it out every time it happens. Because that's what, two or three times so far? I don't know. I don't know. Ah. But let's see what happens. 
do you stay in and click Stealth Rock again, Jay? Or do you hard swap to Cradilly to predict the Scald? Mm, 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 mm. He's not a Salt Vest, and he doesn't have any leftovers. What is his item? Are you Rocky Helmet as well? Mm, 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 mm. Oh shit, he stayed in! And those rocks are gone. Broke through paralysis again. Jay broke through paralysis again. I just want to point that out. He just broke through paralysis again. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do. Um um okay so I'm in actually a decent position right now tbh IMO because I need to jot down earth power as well let me take the shucker berry off since we don't have it no more earth power does a lot of damage uh, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out to thunders because Jay's either going to Earth Power again or Hard Swap to the Cradily. One of the two. Earth Power only does 53% max to Empoleon, so we can live another one. Uh, I thought about going for Stealth Rock on my own, but I don't want to risk taking an Earth Power or him setting up rocks again. So I'm going to Hard Swap to Thunderous. I'm going to Hard Swap to Thunderous. So if he wants to Earth Power again, let him Earth Power again. Now, if he predicts this and clicks Rock Slide or Ancient Power, then. I guess Jay's just amazing. Who did he go out to? Who did he go out to? Hey, the Cray Dilly 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 Dilly. Okay, so this is not terrible for us. Uh, because... Uh, Ancient Power... Oh wait, that's the wrong one. No, no, no. Ancient Power is doing a lot of damage. Massive damage. Massive, massive, massive damage. Massive, massive, massive damage. Okay, so at this point, we've kind of sort of committed. <laughs> Damn it! I can't do this. It's not smart. Because even if I were to go for a Nasty Pot right now, right? Like, let's say you go for Nasty Pot and he goes for Ancient Power. Uh, Ancient Power does over half. And Nasty Pot, Focus Blast, isn't a guaranteed kill, even then. It's a roll. Uh, it's like a 50-50 shot. And if he Ancient Powers me again, then my Thunderous is gone. And Thunderous does too much work to his team. So... I mean, he could click Rock Tomb or Rock Slide as well. Or Ice Beam, I meant. Crazy gets Ice Beam, right? Let's double check. He does not get Ice Beam. Only gets his Hidden Power Ice. Uh, okay, I think I'm gonna go out to Nutcracker instead. I'm gonna keep my my Joey Galaxy alive and go out to Nutcracker. He's so important. It's not a, it's not our chance to set up just yet. I think the only chance we have to set up is against the Dust Blobs. Tbh. Oh shit! I could have got a free Nasty Plot. Why do I why do I always go against my my gut? Why? I don't get it. I would have been a free fucking Nasty Plot. I would have swept. Are you serious? I don't know what just happened. I have no idea what just happened. Uh, I'm gonna set up spikes. I'm gonna set up spikes. He's gonna burn me. Why did I do that? He's gonna burn me. Or pain split. Why didn't I think of that either? Well, I'm just trash. Uh, I kind of want to set up another layer of spikes. Does, does he have anyone to get rid of? He doesn't have anyone to get rid of hazards. I don't think he does, at least. Uh, I just don't want him to burn me. That's the biggest thing. I'm going to go out to 30 minutes. I can get another layer of spikes up in the future. I should have just clicked Nasty Plot. Why didn't I click Nasty Plot? What the fuck's wrong with me? Mm -mm 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 
I feel like Jay is just gonna click pain split. He's just gonna click pain split. He trans paralyzed too, right? Which again, he just went for a will o wisp, broke through paralysis. Jay has yet to be affected by status conditions this entire time. Just wanna point that out. Just wanted to point that out. Yeah, I feel like he's gonna pain split. Which there's really nothing I can do. Online's are at full HP, so. I mean, the safest play is the Volt Switch. And go out to like Chestnut. Because Chestnut already has HP lost. I mean, unless he goes for like. Whatchamacallit? Nightshade. But I feel like he wanted to pain split predicting my damage. Only downside with this chestnut is I have no way to get whatchamacallit back. HP back. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And wood hammer is not killing. Which we can live two more of those. Ooh, the HP. I think it still just comes down to two more. So only thing, and he broke two paralysis again, by the way. Now, before I do this, I just want to double check. Cray Dilly doesn't get anything. He doesn't get stealth. I mean, uh, rapid spin, does he? No rapid spin. No defog. He doesn't have that. Gramble doesn't get that. Heatran doesn't get that. Nidoking King doesn't get that. Does Azelf get? No. So as far as I can tell, he has no way to get rid of hazards. So I'm gonna set up spikes. I can set up two more rows of spikes and Nutcracker's gonna go down. But that's just the way it is. Nightshade, Jay has broken through paralysis again. Again, he has broken through paralysis. That's three layers of spikes, that's max spikes. I really hope I'm not overlooking a mon that can somehow get rid of this. That, and finally, we get a paralysis. Finally. Yeah. Finally, paralysis. Woo! Thank the Lord for paralysis. Uh, I was going to say, I want a spiky shield. Just to get HP recovery. But I think that'll put me. Uh, I didn't pay attention to how much that did. Fuck it, I'll go for it. It doesn't hurt because it's like. Just unless Nightshade goes through, I don't think Nightshade does. Mmm, finally we get some paralysis going. Thank you! Thank you, Mo! I guess you finally tuned in to watch the battle. I guess it's 10 HP back. Okay, so the only thing I can hope for is that he gets. Or, 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 or. I was gonna say, the only thing I can hope for is that he gets paralyzed this turn because obviously I'll die especially with Woodhammer recoil I was gonna say I could earthquake but it just doesn't do enough wait we need him to get paralyzed and not attack us oh he is not defensive never mind he is not defensive at all get him out we're free to e-speed we're free to e-speed now question is who's he gonna go out to he doesn't have anybody that sets up though that's the thing and we have three layers of spikes up that annoying ass Dusclops is finally fucking gone though. Oh, hello, as as elf, the King Nappy, you are. Um. Well, he has this thing in nasty plots. I'm just gonna click Woodhammer. You think I'm gonna click Spiky Shield? I'm not clicking Spiky Shield. I'm gonna Woodhammer the fuck out of this thing. So if he clicks nasty plot, I want him to click nasty plot. I want him to click Nasty Plot. Click Nasty Plot. Do it, bruh. Do it, bruh. Do it, bruh. Mm -mm, uh -uh. He's got to be debating whether or not I'm going to spike his shield. If I were him, I would just... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
I have no clue what he predicted. I have no clue what he predicted. But one huge problem on Jay's team is now gone. Wow. Wowzers. 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 Uh, I want to see. It's like I'm nosy. Uh, if we weren't bulletproof, let's say we were overgrow. Energy ball might have killed. I think it was a roll, even at that point. Uh, so there are no rocks up at this point. Um, I kind of want to go. Uh, Rotom Heat's honestly the safest option because if he wants to intimidate us with Gramble, he can intimidate us. If he wants to go out to Heatran, we can just Volt Switch. I could go out to Joey Galaxy, but if my only thing is if he goes out to the Nido King, then we have a problem. Then we have a problem. He went to the Heatran, which I figured he would to set up rocks. Yo, that's spike damage though. Shout out to you, bruh. Uh, I'll obviously have to Volt Switch. I'm gonna Volt Switch out into Big Thun Dog. Oh, 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 oh. Thun Dog. Because uh, I could Earthquake right now. TBH. TBH. Oh, he wants to protect. Let me jot that down. I mean that's fine. That was a given, Jay. I don't know. I don't know what, what why you protected. I really don't know why you protected. He doesn't have leftovers. I actually wanted to scout out what I was gonna do. He broke the paralysis. So far he's been paralyzed twice. He's been paralyzed twice. So will he go for a rock type move or will he set up stealth rocks? Will he go for a rock type move or will he set up stealth rocks? I'm gonna go out to Joey Galaxy. That's my only option. I could go to Britannia, but I feel like that's too obvious. And he went for the Stealth Rock! Broke through paralysis again! Yeah! Woo! Okay, so at this point, uh, I can very well click. I should have gone to Napoleon and got out my own rocks. No, I can't defog. There's too many spikes in the field. Ah, oh, Jay got me. Um. My only debate at this point is. Is it worth risking? Because the Heatran can't kill us with. What is he revealed? Unless he doesn't even have a rock type move. Jay would be foolish to not have a rock type move. This means he doesn't run Lava Plume. He would be foolish not to have a rock type move. Uh, uh, uh. But I mean, we're here now. We've, we've committed. We've pretty much committed to Thunderous, so we kind of have to click Nasty Plot. Because if he has a rock type move and we hard swap to Dragonite, then we lose the initiative. But at least it'd be Nasty Plots. At least it'd be nasty plots. Or if you ancient power or rock slide. Does your does your carry rock slide? Both of those do less than half. So only thing I'm guessing his thing has to be scarfed. His Needle King has to be scarfed. Now can we get the paralysis? Or is Jay gonna break through again? Oh he doesn't have a rock type move! That did so much damage. Alright. That's superb. I like the way that looks. But, you know, him being, like, par par paralyzed right there would have been fucking stupendous. Uh, if he's got Scarf Needle King, Ice Beam kills us. Uh, at this point, I can click Thunderbolt, though. I don't even have to risk the Focus Blast. Thunderbolt kills. Thunderbolt kills. I don't even have to risk the Focus Blast. So, Jay's biggest threats so far are gone. The Needle King is still an issue. But, we'll see what he ends up going out to. If he hadn't, if he hadn't, actually, let me double check. No, 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 it has a chance, never mind. I was gonna say, if he hadn't, hit us with that lava from just now, we might be able to live from the Needle King. I mean, technically, we might have. It does 93 to 110. So technically, we had a chance to live. But, it's not a good enough chance. Why is he not sending out Needle King? Is Needle King not scarfed? 
I was gonna say he has to. Okay, so even though we have a nasty plot up right now, um, I want to go out to Britannia. And the only reason I say that is because whatever he decides to lock himself into, because if he goes for an Ice Beam, I have Britannia and 30 minutes right there. He can't go for an Earthquake or an Earth Power on the chance that I stay in, or go out to Rotom, or Dragonite. He can't go for a Flamethrower because of Rotom and Dragonite. So his smartest option at this point would be Sludge Wave. Because Sludge Wave would still damage me. Sludge Wave still has a chance to kill. And... The only thing that stops it is Britannia. I'm gonna go out to Britannia. I mean, we have the Nasty Bot up right now, but I want to save it. I want to make sure I have this thing alive because... I don't know why. It took him a really long time to send this thing out, though. I'm just sitting there thinking, like, do we need this? Because once we get rid of this Needle King, Thunderous pretty much handles the rest of this team. He's got to be Scarf. That's the only reason he'd send it out. I'm going to go out to Britannia. I'm going to go out to Britannia. And anything other than an Earth Power, we should be able to take. And if he is Scarf, we'll know right now. Unless he Earth Powers, predicting this. He Ice Beam. Okay. So, if he stays in... If he stays in and Ice Beams again, I'm gonna click Stealth Rock. If he swaps, then he has to be Scarf. Because he won't stay in and keep Ice Beaming me. He's gotta be Scarf. He's gotta be Scarf! He's gotta be Scarf. Unless he's playing the ultimate of mind games with me right now. Unless he is playing the absolute ultimate of mind games with me right now. He is 100% Scarf. Uh, uh, uh. I only did that for... Um, I only did that for the rocks. That's the only reason I did that. Because I could have gone on to Rotom and clicked Overheat. Uh, at this point, there's nothing I can do except click Roar. Because if he goes for a rock type move, it damages all the rest of our mons. So I'm just gonna click Roar. And hope he over predicts. He goes for Giga Drain. But he should still live that. Get this shit out of here. Yeah, take that damage, bruh. Hey, take that damage, bruh. Hey, take that, uh, take that, uh, take that damage, bruh. That's almost 50%. Jesus fuck. Okay, so he's either, he's got to go for like a uh, close combat. Because a player off won't kill. I'm going to click. I'm going to click Scald. Jay's not going to hard swap and take all that rock damage again. He's going to close combat me. If he hard swaps into Cray Dilly right now to take the Scald, I'm going to be beyond myself. I'm going to literally be beyond myself. Uh, 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 uh. Let me double check here. We have no speed investments in this Empoleon. We sped crap so many mons, I couldn't remember, but there's no speed investments in this Empoleon. But, that means he is base 80. So. Oh, wait, we already have Ramble here. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure we still outspeed. Yeah, he's base 65. And we get no burn. Fuck. Just can't have nice things, bro. Can't have nice things. Okay, so let me jot down that you have Earthquake as well. Yeah, that was a risky play. That was a risky, disky play. Uh, this Needle King is a problem. This Needle King has now become a problem. We need Rotom alive, or Scarf Needle King is gonna kill everything. Scarf Ice Beam Needle King is gonna kill everything. Maybe I shouldn't have just sacked him off like that. Because if we don't have multi scale, which we can't get rid of the rocks now, Ice Beam obliterates Dragonite. It blows away Thunderous as well. So we need the Rotom alive. Uh, I'm gonna go out to Thunderous. 
And we're gonna have to play mind games. I'm gonna go out to Thunderous, and we're literally just gonna have to play mind games because he's gonna sack this thing off. Then again, then again. Oh no, it's just mind games. It comes down to hazards and mind games. Because I can click Thunderbolt at this point. Because even if he swaps out to whatchamacallit. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, let me double check. Let me double check. Let me double check. Beforehand. HP Ice still kills the Gramble. I'm gonna lock myself in HP Ice. I'm not locking myself in, but I'm gonna click HP Ice. On the off chance that he wanted to swap out to Nido King around to apply pressure. But obviously, I was predicting that he was going to just sack the Gramble off, but on the off chance that he wanted to swap in the Nido King to apply pressure and catch me on the Thunderbolt, it would kill him there. So now he has to go out to Nido King. And I have no option but to sack this thing off. And let him lock himself into Ice Beam. Because with all that damage, he can't swap Needle King in and out. He can't swap Needle King in and out. No, 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 no. Because if he were to lock himself into Ice Beam and I were to hard swap into Rotom, I'd eat up the Ice Beam, and in turn, I'd click Overheat, which is doing massive damage to Cray Dilly. Which then he'd have to bring in. Uh, whatchamacallit. So now, like I said, it just comes down to mind games. I didn't see if Cradily Cradily might be assault vest. If that's the case, then he's swallowing overheats. Never mind, because it's only neutral. Ugh. Do I leave in the the? And the Cradily arrives. Uh, let me check here. Okay, so Focus Blast has a chance to kill. Angel Power is blowing me away. So I can't even click Nasty Pot at this point. Uh, so I'm just gonna Focus Blast. That's the only option I have. I can't swap in and take damage on anyone else. I literally have to click Focus Blast. Jay's been paralyzed twice this entire battle. Twice. Two times. We lost. We just lost. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. Because... What the fuck am I supposed to do at this point? I needed that to hit. So that someone can come in and finish it off. Because extreme speed doesn't do enough. Uh, only thing I can try to do... Is to go out to Rotom. Rotom doesn't do enough. I have to paralyze this thing. I have to click Thunder Wave. I have to go out to Rotom, click Thunder Wave. And he would Ancient Power me and get leftovers. And then I can click Overheat afterwards. And whether he stays in or swaps out. And if he swaps into Needle King, then he has to lock himself into. He can't lock himself into Ice Beam. Because 30 minutes is here. Ancient Power has a max of 53%. A max of 53%. And I know we outspeed. So it'd be nice if you get paralyzed. I give up, dude. I give up. I've already been having a shitty enough day, and this is the last thing I needed. So I don't, I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Um, I have no idea. Well, use recover so he can't be assault vested. Oh no, we saw leftovers. Never mind. Yeah, we saw leftovers, so he's not assault vested. So overeat will do about half. That's all I can hope for. Especially defensive. And he still doesn't get affected. Alright.
Okay, so literally the only way that we can win this right now is if we go out to Dragonite, he gets paralyzed, and I can click Outrage. Because the only way that he would kill my Dragonite, because he's specially defensive, he can have HP investments, of course, but only way that he can kill my Dragonite, I mean, I just don't want to get rid of Extreme Speed just yet, though. Because that's what'll help me beat the Needle King. Extreme Speed kills the Needle King. <sighs> I can't lock myself in Outrage just yet. I can't lock myself in Outrage just yet. Outrage would kill this thing. But I can't do it because I need E Speed for the Needle King. I need this thing. I really needed him to not get that recover. I, I can't win. I can't win this. <sighs> because if I Volt Switch, if I stay in an overheat again, it's not going to do anything. If I Volt Switch out into Dragonite, I can't do anything then. Because it's not doing any damage. E Speed's not doing any damage to this thing. And the only thing that kills. Uh. Earthquake might kill. I mean, there's nothing else I can do. I have to bull switch out, and he has to get paralyzed. That's the only chance I have of winning. Literally, that's it. And if he doesn't get paralyzed, I'm gonna be shredded by this ancient power because I don't multi scale. I really needed that focus blast to land. No paralysis. No paralysis. Um, uh, the only other thing I can do at this point is lock myself in Outrage to kill this thing, and then he, Jay has to go for Ice Beam to kill my Dragonite. Sludge Wave doesn't do enough, so if he locks himself into Ice Beam then... HP Ice might kill. That's the only thing we have. We have to click Outrage. We have to click Outrage. Which kills this thing. I think, I think, I think, I think. If he locks himself into- if he turns out to not be Scarf, then we're just a foolish bunch of children. If he's not Scarfed, and we kill him with Outrage, that'll be great. If he is Scarfed, the only way he can kill us is by clicking Ice Beam. If for whatever reason... I don't even have time to calc it. Rock Slide, my, Rock Slide could kill as well. He could lock himself in a Rock Slide if he ends up having it. He could be a mixed Needle King. See, he's trying to figure out what to lock himself into, because if he locks himself into Outrage, I mean, uh, Ice Beam, then Rotom comes in. And he's not doing enough damage with Ice Beam. It's resisted, and it's not Stab. And Rotom will kill with an HP Ice. He clicked Sludge Wave! That's all he could do! What the fuck?! He literally just got a max roll! He literally just got a max roll Sludge Wave! East people would have killed him too. He literally just got a max roll sludge wave. Now we know he's scarfed. But he literally just got a max roll sludge wave. That's superb. Uh we lost. We lost. I'm gonna I'm gonna double calc it again. To make sure I didn't enter it wrong. Or actually no. Yeah, he got max roll. We lost. Sludge Wave kills. <laughs> Today just keeps getting better and better. Well, that means we're now 6 and 6. We're back to being even. <sighs> Good game to Jay and the Carolina Keldios. Hacks just was not on our side this week. 
Max Minerals just were not on our side this week. Landing Focus Blasts were just not on our side this week. But either way, good game to Jay and the Carolina Keldios. I think we are battling... Kristen next week? I don't know. Let me look. It's on the UCL Twitter, which you should follow if you don't already. Who do we battle next week? We battle... Kristen and the Tulsa... There's only three weeks left in the season. Jesus, fuck. Well, we battled Kristen and the Tulsa Talonflames next week, and I guarantee you Volcanion is going to fist us! But make sure you check out Jay's channel link in the description below. And of course, make sure you go and check out his side of the battle as well, because you know he's going to be getting with excitement with all the times that he got out of paralysis and all the times that the Focus Blast, which was just once. But still, you should go and check out his side of the battle as well, link in the description below. With that, though, I'm going to get up out. Thank you all once again for your support. Thank you for checking the video. We out this bitch. Bye!